Hi everyone, welcome back. Hannah's here. Hello. We've done collabs together before and she's staying with me in LA for a couple weeks. We also filmed a collab on Hannah's channel where we did comfy summer outfits. Mm -hmm. um, so I will also link that down below. We're also matching today. We're wearing our core shirts. So thank you, Core. Thank you, Core. For today's video, um, I asked people to submit questions about friendship and just any other questions that they had. So we're going to do a little Q&A while doing the, I guess, spicy ramen noodle challenge because no one believes that Hannah can eat spicy. So you're going to prove yourself today. It's actually really hot, so we might be like super sweaty. We're going to sweat so I'm going to so sweat much. so much. Let's get started. It's so spicy to you? It is spicy. Okay. It's just the beginning. It'll get worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's look for our questions. A lot of people ask, how did we first meet? I think we just followed each other. Yeah. And then I remember like you were coming to LA and then you hit me up to mm -hmm. get lunch together. And I was like, sure. I'm always, I'm always down. Too. Did I? That was a No, no, no. Was that? No, that was a different time. That, that was a different time. We filmed together was yeah, the second yeah. time. Oh, mm -hmm. we got BCD the first time. Right? No, we had... Earth Cafe, because you have pepper. Oh, oh my god, I'm, I'm just dying to tell this story, you guys. Hannah, if you guys follow Hannah, if you don't, you should follow her, loves her dog Pepper like so much. And then we were sitting at Earth Cafe, like eating, and she's like, This is my dog Pepper, here, hold him. And she just puts him on my lap, and I was like, Okay, hi, Pepper. I was like, like Everyone loves Pepper. <laughs> yeah, and Pepper's such a sweet dog, too, but it's just like, so telling of For the who we yeah. are as people because Hannah's like, here, here! And I'm like, uh. you were, I remember you let him sit there and you were like, yeah! Okay, you can answer their next question. Do your dogs get along? You can answer that. Yeah, like, they're both pretty old. Pepper's 12 and Cody's 10. Mm -hmm. And um, they aren't really like... They're not normal. Like they don't like play play with other dogs, mm -hmm. but they enjoy like sniffing them and then kind of having their own space. I think that's why they get along. Like they respect each other each other's space so much because mm -hmm. they're just so much older. Whereas like if they meet a younger dog, like Pepper's kind of like, oh, oh, and he like doesn't really want to like sniff them. Mm -hmm. But I think he really likes Cody because he's super chill. I mean they're both like passed out right now. <laughs> Where's Pepper? <laughs> but they just like enjoy each other's company. They're the goodest boys. I love them together. <laughs> I call them boyfriends all the time. They are boyfriends. Yeah. Because Pepper, like, he kind of, when they first met, Pepper was obsessed with Cody. Like, obsessed with him. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I think, like, Pepper's in love with him. And then when we came here, Cody was more interested in Pepper. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh my gosh, they're, like, together. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is from Amy. What do you guys admire most about one another and why? Rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? Uh, uh -huh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this is very specific. Oh. But one thing I admire about Sandy is like, she's very, like, with people, I feel like you're very, um, I don't know how to describe this. So, this, I feel like this is my flaw, and I think it'll explain what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. But my flaw is that, like, um, when I see one thing I don't like about someone, mm -hmm. it kind of makes my meter of friend, like a, ability to be friends go down. Mm -hmm. So like if I meet someone and then we're friends and then I see something that I don't like, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't really want to get so close to this person. You can even be like the smallest thing, mm -hmm. which is really bad because I mean, I'm not perfect. So why am I, why do I keep like trying to, why do I keep expecting people to not offend me or not like not make mistakes mm -hmm. whereas for you I feel like you're always kind of open to people's like personalities like you're very good at being friends with a lot of people because mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know does that make sense like mm -hmm. I feel like it's easy for you to be friends with a lot of different kinds of people where for me I feel a little bit more like I can be acquaintances with them but I won't be close to them because I'm so it's really bad it's really bad of me but I'm so picky mm -hmm. about things I guess mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah yeah that's what I like about you and I told mm -hmm. Jimmy I feel like I have to grow up because I'm just that's just such a not a mature way of thinking like not everyone is gonna be the way you want them to be mm -hmm. you know I see no oh, I didn't know that yeah thanks okay next question <laughs> hey <laughs> I want to call him it well, it's so ironic because I was gonna say I think you're a really good friend really yeah I think you 
are like you're super friendly like you put yourself out there and you're so fun and just really lighthearted. Like, <laughs> am, am I wrong? Do I not know you? <laughs> I choked on the noodle. <laughs> it begins. <laughs> it really does. This is where you fuck up. <laughs> this is where it goes downhill. <laughs> also, are you laughing at me? <laughs> what if I was really choking? Oh shit. <laughs> because you couldn't believe what I was saying. No! <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? What did I do? I was like, I was just like, oh my gosh, I chucked on a noodle and a spice. Yeah, I think you're like really fun, but you also like know, like you're a really good listener and you give really great advice. We wouldn't have been friends if Hannah didn't just randomly DM me and ask me to go that's true. Go out, you know? And like, I feel like we have developed a really great friendship from there. Yeah, I think we're really different, mm -hmm. but I love that. Does that kind of answer the question? We have something so specific, but mine is like, all of you! <laughs> Most of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After the choking fit, I'm starting to sweat. I know, I knew it! Because that, that's happened to me before. There's, what's your friendship dynamic with Hannah? Did we already kind of answer that? That was a question for you. You answer it. Oh my god! What's your friendship dynamic with me? <laughs> I mean, I think when you gave me pepper to um, put pepper on my lap, and I was like, mm. <laughs> like Hannah's always like, woohoo, and I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> I'm just more like very chill. Like she's she's uh, actually a chill person. Oh. Your voice sounds chill, but you're actually a chill person. Oh, that's nice. Sometimes my voice sounds chill, but I'm not very chill. But it's yeah. so fun. I love it. I wanted to tell the Mario Kart story. Oh, but you kind of have to be there to yeah, really know. Yeah. Should I still tell it? Yeah, you can tell it. So pretty much we were all playing Mario Kart at Ivan's house. But you, what did you lose or something? Where you something hit you on the game? Yeah, and it was like we were with a bunch of people that like. I'm like acquaintances with, but yeah. they don't really know me very well. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but something bad happened in the game to Hannah, and she just started screaming, and everyone was like, <laughs> they were like, oh my gosh, you're so loud, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah. And Jimmy was there too, her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and we were just like, hmm. Yeah, and they didn't care, but everyone was like, but I love that. It's so much fun. <laughs> That's how I know Sandy's my real friend. <laughs> because she didn't care that I was so loud. <laughs> I realize a lot of my friends are really loud and maybe that's because like I'm more chill. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I need that balance. Mm -hmm. Advice maintaining long distance friendships. <laughs> She's the one that's really good at that. I really? feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm not as good at that because I mean, I'm going to be honest. You're the one who I think asked for phone calls a lot more. <laughs> like FaceTime. I'm a needy friend. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Like what I like about you is like no shade to my sister, but like she <gasps> calls me all the time, mm -hmm. all the time, and okay. like I'm not really the type of person like even with Jimmy, Jimmy's gone, and we Facetime each other since he's been traveling like once a week, mm -hmm. if that, and so I'm just not really like a c frequent phone call kind of person. Mm -hmm. But if I don't make the phone call, I'll just forget about it. So mm -hmm. I can go months without talking to someone. Mm -hmm. But you're very good at like once a month you'll be like, hey, like. Um, what, what are you doing? Like, let's FaceTime this week and stuff. Like, you're you always initiate it. Oh, which I feel really bad about, but yeah, she's really good at that. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you just have to like check up on them once in a while. Yeah, it's funny because I feel bad because I feel like I'm bothering you. Like, hey, really? like, come talk to me. Come no, talk to me. <laughs> I'm always like, I'm always like, oh shoot, I always like I feel bad because I always forget to be the one to call no. you. Yeah, I guess that's my advice. Just try, mm -hmm. make an effort. That's really all. Make an it effort. Is. Yeah. That's important. Mm -hmm. Describe your friendship in one word. I have mine, but it's kind of basic. What's yours? Fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a really cool one. Let me think. I know. That's why I said mm. I warned. I warned y'all. <laughs> mm. Evolving. <Is> Forever. <laughs> I think ours is like um, understanding. Oh. Because I feel like we're so different, mm -hmm. but I feel like we're both we're we're very similar mm -hmm. when it comes to. Um, I feel like we try really hard to understand other people, mm -hmm. and um, I think probably we do that to each other, and so I think that's like the thing. Ah, oh, okay. My word was definitely more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, Mine was more meaningful. It, was, it really was. Ooh, that spice went up my nose. I feel it. Wow. <laughs> That's my karma. <laughs> There's what were your first impressions of each other? Did your thoughts change? Yeah. Oh, really? I thought you were, I thought when I, when you didn't say any words to me, when I just saw your face, I thought you were mean. You look like you were mean. I get that a lot. Yeah. Because I have resting bitch face. But it's like, you also just have really intense eyes. Oh. Um. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know if they'll agree, but like I feel like when you're just and you're so calm. So like when you're just normal talking, like I'm just like, are you mad or <laughs> yeah, like I'm confused or if like you're just sitting here just relaxed. I'm like, are you mad? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's so funny. My first impression of you, dude. It feels like such a long time ago. I don't even remember. No, really? was it annoying? No, I don't think so. That's a lot of people's first impression of me. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hit you up again. <laughs> I passed. <laughs> well, but also before you start, mm -hmm. she's actually really, really, really nice. Oh. Like, sometimes too nice. I feel like this is just a video, like, flattering myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm gonna say something bad about you. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, you like, you actually smile a lot. Oh. Yeah. But then when you don't smile, it's just very intense. <laughs> My first impression of you? All I remember is you putting Pepper on my lap. And I was like, this girl really loves her dog. <laughs> Had my impression changed? No. no. It's really cute though. Like, I love the way you love Pepper. What annoys you guys about each other? Oh, you have an answer? I don't know. I have to think. I have to think. Because I don't feel like we hang out for, this, is, this would be this the true longest. test. This yeah. is the longest. That I sleep late? That's the only thing, but it doesn't even annoy me. Like, but that's just something we don't have in common. Yeah, yeah. Hannah wakes up really early, except for today. <laughs> Dude, cause we stayed up until four watching um, Art Doll Chronicles, this Korean drama, and if you so haven't watched it, it's so good. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got up, I think earlier. Yeah. I went back to sleep though, but I woke up at nine and I was telling Hannah earlier, I was like, dude, you were knocked out. Cause usually my doors make really loud, loud. noises. I didn't wake opens. up. She didn't wake up and I was like. <gasps> I was so tired. Like usually light wakes me up and yeah. I'm so sensitive, but I must've been so tired. Yeah. Cause I woke up and I was like, it was probably eight and I turned and it was 11. And I was like. <gasps> oh, we didn't even answer the question. What I'm like ge genuinely, I'm not kidding, like I know that friends are annoying and I have a lot of friends that I have, there's things about them where I'm like, you're so annoying, but I can't think of one. Ooh. Genuinely can't think of one. Cool. Same, but same. I think it's because like we're both very considerate of each other, like yeah. understanding, like, yeah. like we know we're not doing anything to like tick the other person off, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do wait, a, let's wait a week. Wait to the end of the <laughs> Give us some when she leaves. Before she leaves, I'll ask her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I probably might not share with you guys. <laughs> Honestly, Hannah's been cleaning for me. I, I feel like I've barely washed any dishes since she's been here. She's been feeding the dogs. I don't know what Cody's eating. Like, she walks them in the morning when she wakes up early. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm always like, what time is it? Is it Hannah? Is I know. Hannah up? Whenever, whenever I'm like about to go outside, I see you come out and she looks so bamboozled. She's like, like I knew you got up just because you were like, oh shit, she's taking the dogs out. I'm always like, what time did you wake up? How long have you been up? What did I miss? Because I just feel so bad. That's exactly what you look like. Now. <laughs> so when I woke up today and she was still sleeping, I was like, oh. Yes. How do you know when a relationship is really fading and it's time to end? Another similar question is, recently one of my closest friends cut me off abruptly. How do you know to keep trying or move on? Mm. They're kind of similar, right? Moving into the advice zone now. Yeah, I think you have to think about how how you're feeling. So I, I kind of had this thing, I made this rule for myself. I think I get, I'm really sensitive when I get rejected a lot. And so I started making this rule, like if I ask to hang out with someone three times and then they say no, I stop asking them and it's not like I'm cutting them out of my life, but I don't want to put myself so much out there and then make myself feel worse and worse kind of because you're kind of just if you keep doing stuff like that, like giving too much to someone, um, being a giving person is good. But if you give too much, you kind of just you just you're just not going to be happy anymore because yeah, you drain yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I think that's important. I think if that's the situation, I guess like I think just try and make boundaries for yourself to protect yourself. Relationships are hard because when you really like someone romantically or platonically, you want to give them so much. Mm -hmm. You want to help them so much. You want to make them so happy that maybe you forget to make yourself happy. So I think you just gotta think about, am I giving too much? Am I happy with this person? And then what kind of boundaries do I need to fix something like this? Mm -hmm. If it means cutting them off, then do it. If it means just, seeing them less or doing less. I guess I'll answer the second part of the question then, mm -hmm. or the second question, which was, if your friend, <clears throat> oh my God, I almost choked. <laughs> Are we done? I'm not done yet. 
You're almost done. Almost done. Oh, almost you're done. not done. I was secretly trying to beat you. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, I, was like, I was trying to slow down for you. <laughs> wow, what the heck? Okay. I was like looking over. That's like, the annoying thing about you then. <laughs> I'm not even that competitive, but like I love spicy food, so I'm like, Hannah can't outdo me. I've been giving her shit for it all Dude, day. Literally, I was, just, I was eating it. If you watch the video, Sandy, I was eating it like this. <laughs> God, wait for you. Meanwhile, I'm like, no, 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 no. If someone um, ends a friendship abruptly, how do you know to move on or keep trying? I think that's something you have to decide. It's kind of hard to say. Like, I don't know the context, I don't know the situation. But for me, I would, if you can and have the opportunity, try to understand why. Like, maybe it's for something really small that you can still talk about or like hash out. But if it's something bigger and just not resolvable, and you've already feel like you've tried, I feel like if you feel like you've tried already and it's not working, then that's when you should probably stop trying because like they probably have their own reasons for not wanting to be friends with you and you should respect that mm -hmm. I think you know and don't take it personally like, like it is personal but like yeah okay, try, yeah, yeah. Okay, like trying to try to remember that you care about this person and mm -hmm. maybe you actually did something wrong and think about it or maybe you didn't but maybe you did you know yeah it's easier for people to think that they didn't you know yeah but maybe you did and you need to give them some time to recover yeah um, I mean obviously I think the first move is try and talk about it but mm -hmm. if they really don't want to talk to you then don't push it because it's just gonna make it worse yeah like you should respect that what I mean by not personal is that in some cases like maybe you guys just don't get along aren't meant to be friends But you'll find other friends that are more mm -hmm. suited or better like better friend to you. What's your number one friendship deal breaker? You go first because I went first last time <clears throat> I honestly don't know if I have one. <laughs> really? Okay, so it, I mean, it takes a lot for me to end a friendship. Maybe you should go first. Because <laughs> um, you, I think you have one. Do you have one? Probably just trust. Mm, that's true. Like, because I think it's really hard for me to, to trust people. So if I trust you and then you don't, then you miss, blah, 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 then you mess it up, then it's kind of like, really hard for me to jump back on the horse. I told Sandy I'm very careful with the information that I give out about yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, I'm very picky, like, because I always think this way, I have to remember that this person is, whatever I tell them, they're going to have this information forever. Mm -hmm. And how do I feel about them having that information about me? And so that's why it's hard for me to trust you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I thought of a friendship deal breaker. What? It's when I feel like I'm being taken for granted and being taken advantage of. Ooh. Yeah, or like if, People are just kind of demanding way too much from me, and my my like level of too much is very high. Like she's, I, she's I told you she's <laughs> really nice. Yeah, yeah. so it, I just don't really feel like, like yeah. Anyway, does that answer the question or no? <laughs> <laughs> that was so like. Can I stop now? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was. Oh, I was just telling Hannah. Look how frazzled I am. This is me when I wake up in the morning. Um, I was just telling Hannah. Okay. So when you freaked out at first, oh my gosh, that was so funny. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying. Why are you still laughing? <laughs> It's just like when you're watching a movie, I watched everything in slow motion, but I know it happened really fast for you. It's like everything it was, was so overwhelming. Fun. Are you done? Are you done now? Okay. She's not done yet. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> last question, guys. This was the last question I actually got on the story. I thought it was funny. It says, serious question, crumple or fold toilet paper? It depends. Me too. It's like, am I in a rush? Oh, that's what it depends on? Or if I'm just, like, if it's really early in the morning, I'm like, you know? <laughs> yeah. But if I'm like taking my time, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine depends, but it's, it depends on if it's number one or number two. So oh. it's, yeah, that's why I was like, oh, are we the same? If it's number one, I just crumple. If it's number two, then I fold. That's better because there's more surface area. On the if you if you fold it, you know, but if you crumple it, you really gotta be like yeah, and it's so wasteful. Mm -hmm. Like you can fold it, you know, that one time, mm -hmm. and then again, mm -hmm. yeah, less surface area. But <laughs> <laughs> I hope you.
enjoyed our technical advice for pooping and peeing. <laughs> oh my god. I was watching this podcast. Um, I think it's from He po He Podcast. But on the podcast, they were talking about another radio show. And on that radio show, they were talking about pooping. The guy on the radio show was talking about how he catches his poo every single time. Like, he'll get a toilet paper and catch the poo. And he was like, wait, you're saying you just let the poo drop in the toilet? And then the girl was like, are you saying you catch your poo every time? I have to find this. I have to find Wait, it. Why does he? I, that's just what he thought he knew. Like that's just what he thought it was. Like Are everyone you serious? did. Yeah, that's what he thought everyone did. That they everyone catches their poo. You know what? I can see why he would think that because like you what? don't you don't talk about this when you're young. You know, like you're embarrassed to talk about your poo when you're younger. So so he just never knew until that happened. You but. know what's funny? I have a friend. And he Who was catches this poo? No, he was telling me, he was like, he was telling his girlfriend that he had this great idea uh -huh. that every time his dog poo, like he'd just catch it in the poopy bag. Oh wait, wait, they have those. Oh really? I think they do, I've seen it. Interesting. But it's gross. gross. Like I would rather pick up my dog's poo than have it, like what if, what if your dog poos and then sits down? Oh my god. <laughs> or you know? what if it's just like water and he's having a bath? Ah, that's so like, gross! Okay, sorry. Uh, of course we'd be talking about I hope you guys food. aren't eating while we're eating, actually. Okay, that's it. I guess those are all the questions we're answering. Mm. Yeah. Um, I will link all of Hannah's stuff below, her channel, Instagram, and videos, and whatnot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! Bye.